nonetheless, despite Monday not being a drama stream, despite us almost exclusively making fun of right-wingers for hours upon hours upon hours, for nine hours of making fun of right-wingers, I went back to, to Twitter to discover drama, you understand? So I hate that. And so I gave it until today for the drama to chill the fuck out. And of course, the drama has not chilled the fuck out. So I don't give a shit anymore. Now, something that longtime viewers of me will know is that I have a policy, which is that I don't hold back when people start drama with me, okay? Well, actually, that's not true. I do hold back. I give people, I give people an opportunity to stop causing drama before I respond. Basically, every single time someone starts drama with me, I give them time to chill the fuck out and uh, and to calm the fuck down. And of course they never do because whenever people seek drama with me, they think they're gonna get free clout. But the reality is they always fail. Guys, this entire year, the entire year of 2021, it is fucking November now. It has been 11 fucking months of me having to deal with endless bullshit, spurious drama. And I haven't gone anywhere. I haven't gone, I'm not going anywhere. These people suck. You guys suck at drama, okay? You guys always fail at canceling me. I have had, I have, I probably have the highest cancel count of any person on the left at this point, besides maybe Vosh. And that's only because Vosh has like 40 times the audience of me. And yet I'm canceled every single, like it's, I swear to God, someone is trying to start a fucking cancellation bullshit every single day. And they always advocate, oh, Demon Mama is dangerous to the cause. That's why I call it. <laughs> What's that? It's a reflection. In the camera. They can see it. Oh my God, I can see it. Anyway, um, they these people, um, they try to cancel me, and and the reason why I call it a cancellation is because they are trying to take me down. They literally frame me as the most bad faith person ever. That's where the mama bad joke comes from. They frame me as a danger to progressive causes. They call me a transphobe, which is very strange to me because I have never heard, a, I've never seen a single person actually substantiate that claim um, uh, to any level. And they also call, they also regularly directly call for people to report my channel. Oh, greedy has -beens. Oh my, what have I stumbled into? You're about to find out. This is why we joke about Demon Mama Derangement Syndrome, because there is a serious problem with Demon Mama Derangement Syndrome. Um, and uh, yeah, Demon Mama is unironically evil. Like literally, while I was on break, I wasn't doing anything and people started fucking freaking the fuck out on me while I was on vacation, barely posting at all. It's absurd. So... That brings us to today. Now you've been caught up on the timeline, and that brings us today. Today, in which we have a just absolute plethora of idiotic people crawling out of the woodworks to say stupid shit to me. So let's start with the first one, shall we? Because I want to talk about this drama. I get brought up in drama all the motherfucking time, and it really annoys the shit out of me. Because one of the things that happens is people make a lot of claims, and no one ever looks any deeper. Because, um, how do I describe this? Twitter is a wet, Twitter especially is where a lot of drama happens. And if you're wondering why Twitter is so good at producing drama, it's because Twitter is a contextless mess zone. People see something they agree with, come across their timeline, they press like, and that's it. That is how Twitter is used. No one ever looks any deeper into any of this shit, which is interesting. And you're gonna find out why this is important. So make a mental note of this, my lovely imps. Make a mental note of the fact that Nobody ever looks any deeper on Twitter, okay? You're going to find out why I'm why I'm telling you to take a mental note of this as we go on, okay? Cuz this is pretty fucking important. So, mental note time. Understand? Wow, holy shit, Ziggy. 
Oh my god, thank you. That's incredibly, incredibly nice. Um, so we're gonna start here with a little, just a little taste, okay? This, you guys, some of you will have already seen this, and that's all right, okay? So this is the post that started it, okay? Here we go. This is the, this is the post that, that started the drama, I guess. Let's take a look. This is a post by Xavier's Online. If I were an upcoming leftist streamer, I would simply not wake up deranged one day and burn all of my professional bridges. And I responded to this because some people were tagging me in on this as if this is something that I do, okay? It's very frustrating. And I said, you know, it's funny. Despite my reputation as the worst and most toxic ever, cursed be the bad mama, mama biad, mama biad, I think I have only ever burned one bridge with a friend or a professional contact in streaming. The other one was burned by someone doing exactly what you're describing. And then I put two crying emojis. After this, I got a lot of responses, okay? So first of all, tons of comments onto my thing, but also some quote tweets, okay? This is where it's gonna be really funny. Okay, this is where it gets, this is where it starts to get pretty spicy, okay? Um, so let's talk about that real quick. Before we jump into the full spice, let's talk about that claim. Um, so I actually, I need to correct this. I, I, I actually need to correct this. There has been two times that I have burned a bridge with a friend or a professional contact in streaming. Maybe arguably three, depending on how broad you go. And two years of streaming, I could think of three times when that happened. The first one was of course, uh, with a very small streamer uh, who I won't even mention here because I don't want to I don't want it to cause further drama a, a very tiny streamer came onto my stream got very mad at me and started insulting me and I told them to fuck off that was the first bridge that I ever burned very very minor they were a small streamer I was a small streamer they said some mean things to me I said fuck off I don't want to talk to you anymore simple as that simple as that and then we didn't talk anymore that was pretty simple um, we weren't really close friends. We'd been on panels a couple times together. Um, that's it. That was a long time ago. Most of you won't even remember this. It was over. It was over tanky shit. They were tanky, and I argued against their position, and they got very angry about that. Secondly, the second burn bridge that I ever had was with Mel. Some of you may know uh, Chaos is Mel, uh, who is a genocide denier. Uh, a clown and a catty asshole who regularly instigates harassment campaigns against women that she doesn't like or is jealous of. Mel was the second bridge that I burned. I was friends with Mel offline for quite, well, not offline, but out of streaming spaces for some time. Mel and I used to play video games together. And over time, Mel became increasingly toxic, even in our private relations. I didn't burn this bridge on stream. I burned this bridge in private. I said, Mel, if you don't stop with the harassment shit, we're not talking anymore. That's it's that's as simple as it was. So that's the second bridge burning that I've ever done in streaming, okay? And the third bridge burn in streaming was with Hans of Harkir. Uh Hans who uh in, in the who decided to start memeing on me and a bunch of other people while I was on break. Um and then when I decided to talk to him was a complete and utter asshole on his show for literally no reason a day after I had just praised him on a very, very short video game stream that I did. So Hans was being extremely, extremely rude to me, not just in the conversation, which was horrible, but also on Twitter. And so I told him to his face, dude, this sucks. The way you're acting sucks. I hate it. And he didn't stop. And then he made fun of me for telling him, for, te for saying that I didn't like the way he was treating me. There you go. Those are my three burned bridges, okay? Can anybody think of any other? Has there been any other? Okay, I didn't think so. So that's over two years of streaming. I've been very open about these and only one of these burnt bridges ever actually happened on stream, okay? Now, there is somebody who's burned a bridge with me, RGR. See, that's the interesting thing about RGR, 
now that's where we're going to get into things this is where the drama bomb comes down okay because um no comment chick does also doesn't count as a burned bridge because no comment chick was the one who blocked me yeah ncc there was never even a bridge with ncc ncc had like a protracted meltdown and literally freaked out at me offering support to them so let's not talk about that that is ridiculous but let's talk about rgr okay let's let's talk about rgr okay many of you many of you in my audience are familiar with the drama quote unquote that i had with riley grace roshong um riley grace Lo roshong is your local has been god complex uh white christian trans woman lawyer who believes that there is a single static definition of gender that you can type into a crappy uh, document that you slap your uh, fucking Fiverr, uh, Fiverr logo onto and you can pass it off like a legal document. I'm not kidding, by the way. Um, RGR like commissioned this sh sword and shield logo and plasters it all over these documents that she puts out that are really just extended blog posts that she's trying to grab uh, like uh, add legal credence to. She's like, I'm in law school in like undergraduate law school, and she's like, Yeah, I'm in law school. That's mean. That means I know everything. I'm the I I know the definition of gender. And if you disagree with me, you're a transphobe. And it's very funny to me because the 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 um. The drama has been a bunch of different things. One at one point it was that I was a transphobe. Uh, actually, that's mostly been what it has been is is accusing me of being a transphobe. Um, by the way, my position against Riley Grace Roshong was that gender should be understood as a form of identity, and that we should accept self ID without really any any questions. And uh, RGR said no. There is something something essential to gender. And I said, I don't think that's true. I don't think there's anything essential to gender. I think that gender is wholly a social construct. That uh, If there is something essential to gender, we can't know it. There's no way that you can detect the gender, the, the essential gender pieces in somebody else because gender is the social aspect of, of, uh, of how we parse uh, various diverging expressions in our bodies, okay? Now, um... Wait, she has Calvin Guerra as a mod? Oh, she's a Calvin Guerra mod. Hmm, that's weird. That's a little bit weird. Okay, so yeah, God complex lawyer. Um, and, and, and of course, people might go, well, didn't you burn the bridge with RGR? Actually, I didn't. But you wouldn't know that. And this is where, remember when I told you to take notes about how Twitter is a contextless zone where nobody ever looks any deeper? I'm about to blow your motherfucking minds. RGR isn't an undergrad. Oh, I'm sorry. No, nothing. Thank you. Can you fact check me? Is RGR a grad student? That's only going to make my case even better because if she's in like grad school and still doing this shit, that's even more embarrassing. This is Riley Grace. This is Riley Grace Roshong's YouTube channel. She's got 22.8 subscribers. Do you notice anything weird? Where are all the videos? Where are all those videos? That's a little weird, isn't it? A lot of missing videos. Huh. That's a little bit weird, isn't it? It's funny to me that people talk about, um, that people talk about how, oh yeah, Demon Mama did all this and Demon Mama is so dishonest and Demon Mama is so bad faith. But I ask you, isn't it strange that you literally can't find the evidence of what actually transpired? Isn't that very weird? Well, guess what? You can. You can actually find the evidence of what transpired because I'm gonna show you another YouTube channel, okay? Ready? This one's really cool. This is my favorite YouTube channel on the entire website. Damn. Look at this cool YouTube channel. Wow. Oh my God. Wait a second. You got all my videos up here. Oh, how interesting. Wow. It's almost like you could scroll back all the way back in time 
and you can go and see all of the videos that I've done over time. Oh my God, you can even see my old video about RGR. How strange, interesting, which was published eight months ago. Wow, look at all those videos, tons of videos. So let's go back. Huh. Odd that. How curious. So which one of us do you think has something to hide? Real quick question. Which one of you, which, which one of us do you think is, is trying to hide something? Do you think it's me who has all my videos public, including my videos that were made concurrently during the drama? Or do you think there was some convenient information that would have made RGR look pretty bad? Yeah, I think we know the answer to this. Interesting. Interesting. But that's not all. In fact, I, I felt like it would be fun for us to just go through real quick. And, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. So, so we're going to, here's what we're going to do real quick. What I'm going to do here is we're going to go through right now and we're going to give RGR a chance through her primary platform, which is Twitter. Uh, RGR has the most the most followers, the most everything on Twitter. That's pr like Twitter is Riley's pro uh, like like main platform these days. So we're going to go and we're going to give Riley's Twitter a chance to speak for itself. OK, so let's do that together, shall we? Shall we do that? Everybody want to do that? Let's do Let's fucking do it. Let's fucking do it. Here's RGR's. Twitter. Punished Riley, a fallen streamer. Uh, true, true, fallen off. And then recently she changed her, uh, her, her banner to speak softly and carry a big stick. You will go far. Speak softly, uh, f speak softly, brush all of your statements under the rug, hide everything like a spineless coward, um, and you will go far, apparently. Yeah. So don't worry, don't worry. It's going to we we're going there, okay? So let's scroll down here. Let's scroll down a little ways. We're going to go back to yesterday, okay? And we're going to start and we're going to go forward in time, okay? Here we go. Look at all these tweets. God, she's been tweeting so much. Holy shit, Riley's been tweeting so much. Here's where it begins, really. Here we go. So it starts here. So she quote tweeted me Oh yeah, I don't really give a shit. No nothing. No nothing. Um, no nothing. Uh, you're being very stupid here, and you're missing the most absolutely obvious shit of this. See, this is something that I don't appreciate. This is something that I don't like about you. No nothing. I really, I really think you're a funny guy. No nothing. But you are way, way compromised by your individual like of a person. Um, RGR is very clearly burying things and making it harder for people to find the original thing. It does not matter if she posts the link to her, her maliciously edited version of the debate, by the way. Um, I'm sorry, but I, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm not going to lie to you. No, nothing like I respect, you know, that I'm not going to lie to you, at least from my perspective, you can take this or leave this with a grain of salt, but it is unbelievably obvious to anyone who doesn't have a giant, giant, giant bias that RGR is being slippery as fuck. Like this is what we call obfuscation. And she knows this. She's a fucking lawyer. Do you think I'm stupid? Don't be a dupe. Stop being fucking dupe. Dupes. I meant to say with an S. Stop being dupes. Don't be stupid. When people are being manipulative, call them out on it. So let's continue. So here we go. You literally... Okay, so... Oh, yeah. Sorry. So somebody said this. Originally, when I said, you know, it's funny, despite my reputation as the worst and most toxic person ever, blah, blah, blah. Here we go. This person named Critical Corvid, who all the time retweets me, said, really Grace Roshong, Hans of Harkir, the Scrub King. Which is motherfucking ridiculous. This is uh, fucking stupid. 
And I responded to this by saying, first of all, RGR burned the bridge with me. I literally tried to fix things for days after. Hans was the person that I was referring to having burned a bridge with, which I openly say I did burn the bridge with Hans because Hans was being a fucking dick bag. And I don't, I don't accept that shit. And then the Scrub King, I had no previous relationship with the Scrub King. I had been on one panel with the Scrub King in the past. And he wrote, after our debate, he wrote a 900 word manifesto, literally called the Demon Mama Manifesto. You don't believe me? Watch this, watch this, watch this shit. I got the motherfucking receipts, you motherfuckers. Every time, I always got the receipt receipts. Does Scrub King, 11 months ago, the Demon Mama Manifesto, uh, a 1,476 upvoted, absurd 900 page a 900 word essay about how i'm the worst person ever tldr fuck demon mama she's a bad feminist and hurts the cause yeah it's pretty bizarre isn't it it's pretty fucking bizarre isn't it things are getting a little bit weird so back to twitter again here's this tweet where i said this and now this got quote tweeted. I don't really care about these people. You literally made an entire hit piece video lying about me right after. Try again. Now this is where things get super interesting. And this is where no nothing, no offense, but you're going to look like a real dumb shit. Okay? That's where you're going to look like a bit of a dumb shit. And I'm sorry. Because, you know, I don't hate you or anything. I just think you're being a bit of a dumb shit. And then she links my video. Literally anyone who watches this and doesn't see that it's the most disingenuous smear attempt after that debate has brain rot. Okay? Now, let's go to my video real quick. Now, this is interesting. This premiered on February 20th, 2021. Okay? Keep, keep a note. You know what? Let's do notes together, shall we? Hold on. Let's do my notes together. Here we go. We're going to do a little note together. This will be fun. Okay, everybody? We're going to take notes together. Isn't that nice? So up here, Feb 20, 2021. Okay? Demon Mama hit piece. Quote, unquote. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go find out. Oh, wait, we have a link right here to the original VOD. Here's the original VOD. Ah, interesting. This VOD was launched. Can you see this? Can we see this date here? What's the date on this one? This is when the debate actually happened, by the way. So what day is that? So that's February 15th. Huh. So we got to modify this timeline. And I want you to remember that this stream proceeded past midnight. So this actually, this stream was originally done on the 14th. So we can actually bump this back one day, I think. Hold on, let me double check. We can actually look at the calendar because I, I happen to remember what day of the week it was. So let's go back. Let's go all the way back to February. Okay, so it was the 15th. No, wait, was it? Was it a Sunday stream? I think it was a Sunday stream, wasn't it? Because we were playing games when RGR showed up. So it must have been a Sunday stream that ticked over. Regardless, doesn't really matter. Let's just, let's be, let's be generous. Let's say that it was the 15th, okay? Yeah, it was a Sunday stream. So it was the 14th. I knew it because I ended stream after midnight. I remember because the stream went so long because of the fight that I ended after midnight. All right. So, very interesting little timeline we have here. Let's zoom in, okay? So, remember, the conversation happened on the 14th, and I released my video on the 20th. Can anybody tell me real quick? Can anybody tell me? approximately how many days 
it is between those two dates. Anybody? Come on in. Come on, give me the give me the info. Somebody tell me the math. I, I'm struggling with the math. Somebody give me the math on this. Anybody? Six days? Six days. Thank you. That's six days between my video and this hit piece. Okay? So let's um let's take a look at this. You literally made an entire hit piece vid lying about me right after. Try again. Would you categorize six days as right after? Now it's funny because RGR did do something right afterwards. You see, RGR went onto a stream with a streamer by the name of Steve. NF Steve, as we know him these days. He used to be a streamer. Now he's an NFT salesman. She went on, so RGR went on Steve's stream. RGR went on Lumi's stream. RGR went on Chudlogic's stream. All of these before I even responded. And interestingly, all of my mod, there are mods here, by the way. There are mods here who can tell you what our policy was. Do we have a, hey, Silent, if you're watching, is Silent watching right now? I don't know. Silent, if you're here, if there's a mod here, can anybody recall off the top of their head what the policy was? What the policy we had on, in, in place was? Is anybody? You weren't a mod back then? Yeah, Gayfesh was here. Yeah. Our policy was no engagement. Do not talk shit about RGR on the Discord. Do not do anything. We said we're not fighting until the destiny shit happened. Now, it's interesting. We're going to go back here real quick. Because there's another funny thing about all this saga. It's about to get a little bit even more dramatic. It's very funny because... um. You know, I didn't think it could get much more dramatic than where it was. But I'm going to tell you something. On this channel, and you can go back. I don't have the VOD linked right now. But for those who are super interested, uh, let me know and I'll get a link to the VOD. Because there was a VOD where before she deleted her channel, I went and reviewed this. Back before she deleted her channel, there were eight videos about me in a row. Eight videos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was too many. So this one wasn't a video about me. There were eight videos about me. Hey, thank you very much, Retcon. Deeply appreciate that. Thank you so much. There were eight videos about me. And additionally, there was approximately 16 hours of stream content, much of it which was made with NF Steve about me on her Twitch channel. Yeah, hold on. We got a. Oh, it looks like we got some more receipts. Ooh, I love having receipts. Isn't it wonderful to have receipts? I love it. Let's see. We got one. Here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, here we go. Here, I can show you this right in Discord. Hold on. Here we go. Are you guys ready for this? Watch. Here's my Discord, right? I'm going to zoom right in. This was from 220. So this was before I even posted my video. Also, about this time, it's important to remind people that any harassment of anyone over this, including and especially Riley, is an instant ban. Taps the sign. And the sign is referring to a previous series of messages that we had explicitly saying, we don't want fucking drama. We didn't want fucking drama. Isn't that fucking interesting? Oh, she has them up hidden on her pl on a playlist. How interesting is that? Ooh, ooh, can we go and see these? Ha 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 ha, let's see. Oh, she's got a little playlist for him. How interesting. Almost like, ooh, 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 ooh. Talking to Destiny about the, wait a second, here we go. Look at this shit. Classic RGR content. What is a woman debating Demon Mama and my entire community? 
Then we have, that's three hours. Then we have a two hour video talking to Destiny about the Demon Mama debate. Then we have, let's keep going. Uh, do we, do we have more on here? Let's see where the other ones are. These are not all the same videos. Hold on. Can, this, this one right here, can gender self ID logically work? This is a video from one of the streams she did on me. Demon Mama versus Rem. What is gender? Another video on me. The Kink It Pride Saga also talked about me, but these aren't even all of them. This is only some. Is the Lumi video here? An hour Kink It Pride video. Yeah, here we go, right Last here. Hour. Right here. Was I wrong about gender identity? Talking to Lumi Roo. This is a clip. Now these aren't in, uh, in correct order because these are reposted videos from the streams. But at the time of the drama, RGR did approximately 16 hours of consecutive back-to-back -back content before I responded. Remember our little timeline? Remember our little timeline chat? Let's zoom right in. Let's do it. I know I'm being insufferable, but I don't fucking care. Let's zoom in, everybody. Remember this? My video came out on the 20th. The original debate happened on the 14th. And in between this... 16 approximately 16 hours and there might have been more uh, I don't know exactly all I know is that there were two full day streams devoted to me approximately 16 hours of calling me a transphobe on destiny Lumi chud logic and more Okay Interesting how that works so let's, there we go. So now we got another little piece of the pie. Now we got a little piece of the pie. Isn't that nice? So RGR's response was, the cognitive dissonance is unreal. Bruh, I've been gone for like five months. How much did I piss people off that they pick now to start vilifying me? Well, interestingly, you haven't been gone for five months. You've also been posting shit online, picking fights. You uh, called um, you called a, a, another Twitch partner a, a pedophile, a somebody who suffered from child from C CSAM child sexual abuse uh, victim a pedophile with zero evidence uh you've done quite a lot of things in that time you've been on a couple of panels you've been streaming to your five remaining viewers after you literally burnt your own community to the ground and you posted a video on it debating your entire community so let's continue though here we go i literally have never questioned her translitness she lied about that and has since interesting about that it's very funny that she should say that it is true that rgr herself well actually that's not even true because what rgr did was uh when destiny uh speculated and this is in my original video by the way we posted this in my original video you can go watch it if you want to okay um what are what when when rgr went on destiny destiny said and he asked a question. He said, doesn't it kind of feel something along the lines of this? Doesn't it feel like Demon Mama hasn't actually thought about gender enough to be talking about this? And RGR just sat there and nodded along. You can go watch her stream as she nods along to him saying this. While technically she didn't say it, she signed off on it and didn't push back. Also, later, Avi Bitterman a guy who was on that stream implied the same thing. He made an argument that my definition, my understanding of gender was incomprehensible and invalid and that I hadn't thought about it enough and that this was stupid. So, and she gave no pushback to that either. This was dispersed among 16 hours of video talking about how I am a transphobe. So this is a very interesting little technicality. See, I didn't lie about that. I simply said that you sat there and questioned my my transness with destiny, which you did do, which there is video evidence of. Now, you didn't say the words, but you nodded along. So I think that qualifies very, very, very fairly. I don't even think that's even like a stretch. That is a qualification. If I had someone on my platform who said something horrible like that and I nodded along, that's and that's in, that's you know that's endorsing that very clearly especially when it's something so targeted it's not just body language it's also not, not pushing back at all
If you want a recap of what actually happened, I covered it recently in a vid on my other channel. So it sounds like R um, RGR has set up a alternate c propaganda channel so that she can brainwash a new audience without anybody actually going and checking if anything she says is true. Isn't that fucking sneaky? Isn't it interesting how this little fucking slimy piece of shit has to go and make secondary channels, delete and hide videos in order to propagate a message primarily on Twitter about me being all kinds of dishonest and bad faith. Almost like it's a propaganda machine powered by a lawyer with a fucking God complex who thinks that you can use an equation to figure out gender. Almost like that. Oh yeah, and she paywalls her VODs. Interesting that. Hmm. 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 Let's continue. It's still really weird that Demon Mama tends to just happen to leave out the fact that she said the only reason I cared about my arguments was because I was trying to justify my experience as a trans woman. Just a weirdly specific thing to leave out. You know what? You know what? Let's check that. A choice. Are you trying, you. like, okay, I, I don't mean to, to like, Answer, ask a que answer a question with a question, but what it feels like right now is here we go. This is it right here, and I'm sorry. I don't mean to make this feel like I'm ask asking uh, answering a question with a question that you are attempting to justify your own existence or justify, justify the existence of trans people. And not, I don't think that our existence needs to be justified. I'm trying to. That was the claim. It feels like, let's just go back, let's play this again, and let's listen to that claim, okay? Are we ready? This is the claim right here that she's talking about. Feels like right now is to like... So that it's more than just a choice. Are you trying, like, okay, I, I don't mean to, to like answer, ask a que answer a question with a question, but what it feels like right now is that you are attempting to justify your own existence or not justify, justify the existence of trans people. And not... I don't think that our existence needs to be justified. I'm trying to logically define it. Logically, def I mean, define which part? Like, I'm trying to logically define what gender is. Gender? So, as you can see, even in the moment, there was nothing. So what I said is what it feels like right now, very explicit that I said what it feels like right now, I was incredibly gentle with my wording of this, and nonetheless, despite that being the moment, this is the claim that RGR made. It's really weird that Dima Mama tends to just happen to leave out the fact she said, and this is her quote, the only reason I cared about my arguments was because I was trying to justify my existence as a trans woman. That is not what I said. I said, right here, it sounds like you're trying to justify your existence as, and trans people's existence, which is what she was doing. Because when I pointed out that, hey, you don't have to have an essential piece of gender for your gender to be valid, that I do not believe that. And then she said, well, I need a logical argument. I responded, that sounds like you're trying to justify the existence of trans people. And I don't think trans people have to be justified. I don't think that, tr I think trans people, for whatever reason, are a naturally occurring phenomenon that does not have to be justified morally or logically. Do you understand how convenient it is for RGR to misrepresent my words as she has this right here, just so you know, and this is this one, this line right here has been the reason, the primary reason why she said that I am bad for trans people. This right here, this fundamental misquote, which we just watched on stream and confirmed on stream is false. Let's get back to this. So now we have, now that, now that we have together completely obliterated this ridiculous claim, this claim, which has been the primary justification for repeatedly attempting to cancel me for, um, this has been one of the main justifications for why my channel should be reported. And she's repeated this over and over and over again. This was the entire justification for the hate campaign against me, which has gone on for 11 goddamn months. And I cannot escape this. So just so that we can have just a little, let's take a breather from the receipts. And let me just tell you, my stream and my channel has experienced an unfathomable amount of, 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 of harassment and 
repression. I've had numbers of people literally advocating all over fucking DGG advocating to report my channel for transphobia. I have had people going around hundreds of thousands of people who watch Destiny's fucking streams and VODs. The many, many people who went and watched all of that via Lumiru, via Chudlogic, via uh, Ry Riley's own stream and via Destiny's stream has outnumbered the entire size of all all of my subscribers and these people have propagated a reputation online for being the most bad faith most evil person that you can possibly imagine all of this based on this gently worded line that has been distorted to become a propagandistic talking point just a complete misrepresentation. Mm -hmm. Even like those things is because there are mental processes that we all have that make us more inclined to prefer certain gendered expressions or habits. It's not dysphoria, it's the way that mm. we're wired. There are some of us have- it's Just the way that we're wired. So there is an essential pieces. aspect of gender, which I disagree with fundamentally. All right, that's not saying that there's a binary, that's not saying that you need dysphoria, just that like there's something that motivates us so that it's more than just a choice. Are you trying, like, okay, I, I don't mean to, to like answer, ask a, que answer a question, answer a question everybody. but what it feels like right now is that you are attempting to justify your own existence or justify, justify the existence of trans people. And I don't think that our existence needs to be justified. I'm trying. So that, that was the egregious transphobia that I said. Now, we could talk about the other things that RGR said in this video. I mean, early on in this video, at the very beginning of this conversation, the reason why it even started was because Riley accused me of being a bad representative of trans people. She said I was doing a bad job representing trans people because I didn't have a logical, in her words, logical definition of gender. Very, very interesting, isn't it? So now we can return to the receipts now that we've gone back and done that. Let's continue. Holy shit, I've been going through the arguments in this video and it's absolute horse shit. Uh, it's, it's literally recycled DM arguments, intellectual posturing, and zero substance. This is, I don't know what video this is. Whose video is this? This is Chariot's video. Guys, RGR says that Chariot's video is, I'm sorry, can we quit the quote on that? I've been going through the arguments in this video and it's absolute horseshit. It's literally recycled DM arguments, intellectual posturing, and zero substance. I'm sorry, this is a two and a half hour video with a wall, a bibliography that's published right here. Okay, you can see exactly what's going on in this video. So yeah, this is this two hour video of, an, of a completely deep study look at the look at this the things here harvard civil rights article a declaration on gice the nature of choice congenital adrenal hyplasia gid and twin study biological nature evidence review endocrine considerations and rgr's response intellectual posturing and zero substance yeah okay guys can we see what's going on here can we can we see what the fuck is going on here what this is is fucking sad cope this is sad fucking cope. Let's continue though. Let's go. We're, we're committed here. We're going all the way in. The person who made this video is more than welcome to come on stream and actually defend her. Debate me, bro. Debate me, bro. I'll definitely be responding to the arguments in this vid, either in my next video essay or going, going over this on stream or both. But anyone who likes this vid has brain rot. Notice how she calls... Notice the language that RGR uses. Remember, this is the second time she said, anyone who likes this vid has brain rot. If you disagree with me, you're an idiot, is what she's saying. If you disagree with me, you're an idiot. Fantastic. Super good arguments. Hey, do you guys remember that? You, wait a minute. Do you guys remember? Wait, Vosh is here right now. Do you guys remember when RGR published a, uh, a legal letterhead document saying Vosh is bad and Destiny is good? in a whole bunch of words. Does anybody have a link to that? Constance, do you have a link to that? I would love to read that because that's like the perfect example of what I'm talking about here. I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna, we're gonna do a dramatic reading together. Okay, let's enjoy this dramatic reading. Okay. <clears throat> Riley Grace Roshong, evidence-based arguments for defending and advocating civil rights. Uh, you've got that little nice, 
little letterhead there trying to make it look oh it's got the ooh look at that it's got the line numbers ooh it's got subsections and at the bottom it's got a signature sincerely riley grace roshong okay one of my issues with online political discourse is that oftentimes people enter discussions with the pretense of good faith when they have a conflict of interest because they are primarily motivated by something other than a genuine desire to understand a certain subject matter. This can make having conversations which are primarily focused on those subject matters difficult because when a conflict of interest arises, people may never extend char charitability to your positions regardless of how responsive you are to their arguments or how much charitability you extend to their positions. When this happens, the conversations are no longer focus primarily on relevant subject matters, but rather on exposing the culpable parties as bad faith actors. This seems to be why in online political discourse, while certain subject matters are regarded as important and generally valued in, in discussion, most drama seems to focus primarily on public figures most involved in discussing the topic. Topics come and go, but there's an overarching focus on proving which figure is right or wrong, wins or loses a debase, debate, and should not be trusted. Huh. There's a focus on proving which figure is right or wrong, wins or loses a debate, and should or should not be trusted. Hmm. Hmm. While this kind of discourse can easily make for popular content, I believe it's not effective for those who want to work and engage in actual legislative blah, blah, blah. Wait, this isn't even the one. Wait, this isn't the one. This is the legal statement of how her, her stream is going to go. Here are my, this is the following one. Wait, this is the wrong one. Hold on, wait, this is the wrong one. Here are this is even funnier though. This is this is the wrong one, Constance, but that's okay. Here are my criteria for following someone on any social media platform. They are a member of my Discord and have completed verification where they determine if they have an issue with any of my public stances. They are a public figure with more than 1,000 followers on the relevant social media platforms, or I am reasonably convinced they will get more than 1,000 on the relevant social media platforms. I have interested, I'm interacted with them to the point where I'm reasonably sure that they have made reasonable effort, efforts to understand my arguments, do not intend to cause me or my community harm, have made reasonable efforts, blah, blah, blah blah this is the this is the friend rules this is how you get to be a friend i need the other one this is not the one this is not the vosh one i need the vosh one let's continue I also love the implication that I'm not being honest about being a transmedicalist. Lamau, I literally debated Buck Angel about transmedicalism, and I was the only person to get Calvin Guerra to move on his transmedicalist beliefs. Conspiracy theory is alive and well online. Notice this. Notice how... Do you guys... Wait a minute. Do you guys remember? Do you guys remember when Calvin Guerra came by our chat? Do you guys remember that? Do you think that Calvin Guerra has moved on about transmedicalism? Hmm. Calvin Guerra, who retweets Gammy all the time. Gammy, who makes fun of people for having AGP. Huh. Very weird how that works. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, I'm a little sussy about this claim. Is this the one? This is the one. We got it. All right. We got it, everybody. We got the Vosh letter. Riley Grace Roshong. YouTube.com forward slash Riley Grace Roshong. And this is going down here. And then you've got the signature. You've got the, the, the line numbers. And here we go. After some recent reflecting, I think I understand more about the fundamental differences between Destiny and Vosh. While these differences often manifest in the form of online political drama, I think there are more foundational nuances that are worth acknowledging. Destiny seems to be primarily motivated by a desire to prevent the spread of misinformation and consistently apply the principles that he has come to. What this means is destiny is honest and good. That's the translation right there. This means that while he can acknowledge the intentions of people he engages with, he tends to be more focused on the merits of the arguments that people present. Okay, dude. Okay. This is generally how I engage with political discussions, which is likely why we get along. I place a high value on critical thinking through my positions, being responsive to criticism and correcting misinformed positions that are held by the people that I, who I am close to. Okay, dude. Yeah, all right. One limitation of this approach is that it can often lead to conflict with people who generally have good intentions but who are un who are not able to substantiate their arguments. Most left-leaning content creators I have disagreements with are probably generally well-meaning people. <laughs> One limitation of being the smartest person on the internet is that other people are stupid. Yeah, this is literally tip this is fucking fedora tipping to the maximum. Literally and seemingly be overly charitable to people who are likely acting in bad faith but who are still able to reasonably substantiate their arguments. 
overly charitable to people who are likely acting in bad faith, but who are still able to reasonably substantiate their arguments. Holy fuck. This is where Vosh's approach to political discourse can seem more appealing. Vosh seems to be primarily motivated by a desire to expose conservatives who are acting in bad faith when engaging in public discourse. This means that whereas Destiny would respond to bad faith actors focusing first on the merits of their arguments, Vosh would respond focusing first on what he perceives their intentions are. You see, Destiny is very facts and Vosh is very feels. As you can see, we have the fact quotient here we go. We have a, oh, hold on. Let me just, let me do some mathematics here. We have the fact quotient equals emotions minus intelligence. So if you end up with a negative value here, that means that you're, you're giving a positive facts. You see, you want this value to be negative. That's how you know. Let's continue. Um, uh, da, 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 da. where were we? Yeah, this can be useful since there is a reasonable argument that bad faith actors, irrespective of whether their arguments have any validity, do not deserve any positive recognition since they do not extend any charitability to positions contrary to their own. The problem with this approach is that it means placing a higher value on what you believe the intentions of the people you are engaging with are, rather than the merits of the arguments they are making. This is not to say that Vosh often makes incorrect arguments, but whenever there is a conflict between these two values, Vosh will focus more on what he believes the intentions are rather than the merits of his arguments yeah okay dude oh here you can see uh vosh vosh equals bitch it's a ironclad argument and you can tell this is true because of the legal letterhead and the numbers look these numbers oh and there's a signature on the bottom guys hold on a minute there's also a signature on the bottom oh my god that's how you know that vosh equals a bitch At minimum, this often means that he is going to be less focused on criticizing people who may in fact engage in some harmful behavior if he believes they are otherwise generally well-intentioned. This right here, guys, listen to what is this is being said. This line right here is Vosh is biased is what that's saying. At minimum, this often means he's going to be less focused on criticizing people who may in fact engage in harmful behavior. That's me. She's referring to me, by the way. Right there, this was, that's her referring to me, just so you know. She's referring to the fact that Vosh didn't denounce me immediately like Destiny did. But we'll get there. Sometimes it can also be the case that Vosh and similar people, and similar people, <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is so funny. Vosh and similar people. You Vosh people. The Vosh race have problems. We're racist against Voshites. Uh, uh, at worst, this can risk leading Vosh to similar people to disagree with any argument they believe that people are acting in bad faith make, regardless of whether there's any merit to those arguments. She's literally saying feels over reels. This is just saying feels over reels. There is no substance to this. Nothing. Just feels over reels. That's what she's saying here. She's just Ben Shapiroing. Embarrassing. To summarize, while Destiny and Vosh seem to both value merits of arguments they engage with and the intentions of people who make those arguments, Destiny focuses on the former, while Vosh tends to primarily value the latter. I do not know how to reconcile these values for these two figures and their platforms. Personally, I do not want to have to resort to rhetorical tactics in my conversations in order to own the people I talk to. You mean like lying about everything that they say? I do not make the same suggestion for Destiny or Vosh given their forms of advocacy. This is not meant as a personal attack or to be disparaging. At minimum, I would recommend they each try to understand the other's perspectives since there is nuance to each, to each approach. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. So I wanted to show you the ridiculousness. When I call RGR a god complex has-been streamer who largely streams her egomaniacal views out to five remaining DGG-obsessed viewers, uh, there's a reason for it. Yeah, and remember, yeah, just remember, we just witnessed her shitting on Cherry's two-hour-long, well-researched video for nothing.
She just shit on that and said that it was posturing after she does shit like this. Do we have what? Do we have a dramatic reading? Oh yeah, here we go. You guys want another fun one? Here's a fucking fun one. Here we go. Here's a fucking fun one. This was, now this is a, a little memester by the name, uh, th this is a little memester online. Put the, the, uh, put the transcript of one of her videos onto this legal letterhead, okay? So this is a transcript from an RGR video that's been put onto her little letterhead. There is nothing more important to me than my ideas. They are the bedrock of my being. They are literally the entirety of like everything that comp compromises Riley is based on my ideas. If there are people on Twitter who unironically going to make the take that this is either unreasonable or wrong, then I need to talk to those people because either they are wrong or I'm wrong. And I need to know who's wrong. If I'm wrong, then I need to change my opinions. I'm fucking fighting with ghosts. Can I explain why this is so important to me? I'm explain one more time. The end goal is the angle I have for all my content. Content. Whether or not you believe me, I care very deeply about my community, okay? I care a lot. The the community that at this time she was jettisoning out, jettisoning and jettisoning it out. She literally kicked her own people she said were her friends out of her Discord because she cares so deeply about her community. I care so much that I think about these arguments fucking constantly, and I have to deal with the unending beratement of subjecting myself to every single good argument against trans people. Every single good argument against trans people. All right, I need you to understand. I just don't understand all the arguments against trans people. I understand the good ones too. No, sorry. I need you to understand. I don't just understand all arguments against trans people. I understand the good ones too. And I see it as a responsibility of responsible content creator to make sure that what uh, make sure that what effort does not go to waste. So if you're watching me, I want to make sure that if you're watching me and if you put your faith in me to give you an argument that you can rely on to know that it will get you through literally any kind of shit you deal with, that it will get you through. I want to make sure that you all are able to defend yourselves. That's the whole point of this. And I fucking, I'm really fucking trying right now because when you, but when you literally hand wave all of this effort, when you hand wave all of this effort because you know that if you want the keys to the kingdom, you you want the key to getting through literally any fucking argument that you get your way. This is it. This will get you through anything. Anything. So again, you know, this is the, uh, this is the transcription. She did not actually put this on her letterhead. Somebody else put it on her letterhead. It's a transcription from a video. But that's what I'm talking about when I say God complex, okay? I must have all the answers. The arguments will be mine and I will wield them and you will follow or you will bend. It's weird, like, trans-trans-imperialism. Yeah, definitely not trying- She was definitely, definitely not trying to justify her existence ever, though. She knows the good arguments against trans people. Do you guys know any good arguments against trans people? I'd love to hear them. Wow. Incredible. Just fucking incredible. So let's get back to the receipts, everybody. <sighs> we have punished Riley, a fallen streamer. Indeed, a fallen streamer, indeed. Fallen off. And then we have her getting very angry at this post. Uh, very, very angry at Xavier. Don't know what the fuck is going on there. Will you shut up, man? Stardust, extremely unfunny person. Um, Stardust is just painfully unfunny. Here we go. If you're confused about why people hate me, it's because I've maintained the following three stances. Evidence shows that gender like sexuality is an intrinsic trait. Guys, how the fuck? How the fuck can you get more obvious than this? Can we like, can we like fucking evidence shows that gender like sexuality is an intrinsic trait. We shouldn't dog whistle mass violence. We shouldn't do kink in front of children. She's still still misrepresenting the arguments that she made and remember this was the place where she made fun of a victim of child sexual assault and called them a pedo with zero evidence just so you know just so we can remember But yeah, the fact of the matter is that a lot of lefties online hate being told they can't do something. So if you say they can't do anything, identify as trans for political purposes, do kink in front of children, dog whistle mass violence, they lose it. What a- wow! 
Oh my, oh my fucking God. What a beautiful argument this is. Oh my God. Yeah, well, lefties are just dumb kids who don't like being told what to do. Just deranged. Fucking, oh my God. Lamau, you're not allowed to be mad or push back when you're being dogpiled by antagonistic creators. Remember, Riley tweeted at me. Riley quote tweeted me. I didn't tweet at Riley. I've been blocked by Riley. I didn't know I was unblocked until she quote retweeted me. Let's just keep that straight. This is a massive abuser apologia. So now I'm an abuser. Interesting. For the record, I tried to not say anything and play nice for the last couple of months. That's a big reason I haven't been present online. Okay. But apparently people don't care and will still find a reason to hate you. So all right, fine. If you want a villain, you got one. This is, she's literally cribbing my bit. She's fucking cribbing my bit. She's even using the devil emoji. I use the devil emoji. This is, I'm not saying that nobody else can use the devil emoji, but come the fuck on. It's literally a meme in her community that I'm the villain. That I'm a super villain. Fucking stealing my bit. POV, you're 14 and got all of your understanding of gender from watching one Demon Mama video. Damn. I didn't know I was so powerful. Wait, has RGR tweeted at me again? That'd be great. We got some live stuff. Punished RGR villain arc. Far left, far right. Doesn't understand how sample sizes in studies work. What? Okay. I also feel like people don't understand that there's a causative relationship. This is... I don't care about her. She's arguing with somebody I don't even know. Yeah, I'm starting to unblock people because I realize nobody online knows what the fuck they're talking about. Yo! Yo, who was talking about lack of awareness? Who the fuck doesn't know what she's talking about? Oh, wait a second. Actually, let's be honest. Riley knows exactly what she's talking about. Riley is just a fucking liar. Riley is a serial fucking liar with a god complex. Ah, here we go. So this is you saying you aren't going to actually defend why you're so right over VC? That's what it sounds like. Debate me, bro. Fucking debate me, bro. Lol, I'm too scared to actually defend my position, so I'm going to posture and try to make it look like a good thing. As she postures on Twitter, all that she is doing is posturing. That's all that she's done. She's just postured and lied. I have, okay, re read Gender Trouble. This is her talking about how nobody's read Judith Butler. Uh, okay, so she's, she's read more theory than you. Congratulations. The cope is unreal. She's just bullying random people at this point. She's just quote retweeting random, random people. Here we go. This is a quote tweet of, a quote retweet, or a retweet of Dylan Burns. That's cool. Dylan Burns is cool. Here, it, RGR still fighting with the same person. Oh shit, all right, you know what's fair? I categorically disregard the opinions of anyone under 14 since they're clearly not worth any time or efforts. Thanks for making my life easier. So what she's done in this argument with this person is that, uh, is that she's just called them 14 over and over again. This is what we call like galactic levels of copium. This is like, this is like fucking Arrakis levels of copium. Like an entire planet made out of a psychoactive copium drug. Oh, and now we have her fight. Now we have her fighting with Celine. Let's see what we got here. I think Riley Grace Roshong thinks poor people are orcs who love cannibalism and evil and hate puppies. Absolutely deranged. I know this is hyperbole, but these people literally hate me for having most average normal takes imaginable. The most average normal takes available. Okay, guys, 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 I'm sorry. I'm going to be really fucking mean here for just a second. This right here sums up all of all of Riley's entire personality. Riley is what you call a rad norm, okay? Have you ever heard of a rad lib? Have you ever heard of a of a radical leftist? 
Riley is a rad norm. She needs you to know that she is normal. She's not like those other ones. But see, she's so not like those other ones that she dresses up her essentialist arguments in legal bullshit jargon, which isn't even legal bullshit jargon because she clearly doesn't have a grasp of that. But she prints it on paper that has line separations. Isn't that incredible? Isn't that fucking, oh my God, don't you know? Yeah, real cracker moment. Real fucking cracker moment. Why don't I debate her then? I already have, and it was embarrassing. Okay, I'll show you what happened the last time. At the, 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 for those of you who stick through here and like and subscribe, if you like and subscribe at the end of this, I'll show you what happened the last time we argued. Okay? I'll play the video of what happened the last time we argued. Yeah, you want that? Let's continue. Also, unblock me if you're going to tweet about me. Proof I'm blocked in case she tries lying about it later. Repeat offer to this person. If she has any issue with any of my takes, she's free to come on stream. Come debate me, bro. Debate me, bro. Debate me, bro. Reminder that you never know if someone presenting cis is actually trans. Read philosophy tube. Interesting. That's what I said. Hey, demon mama. I heard you're going over our debate on gender. I'm 100% down if you want to chat about that again. I can also direct you to, ex to exactly where you said that I was trying to justify my existence. It's literally right before I ended the call. We watched it, bitch. We fucking watched it, bitch. Hey. Hey, Riley. Guess what? I'm going to give you my answer here. Here you go. You, you want to have a talk on stream? You want to talk on stream, Riley? You want to talk on stream? No. Fuck you. Fuck you, you deranged god complex has-been. You've fallen off L plus cope plus ratio, time-wasting, Twitter-posturing piece of shit who's, who, who, in coordination with NF Steve, has made my life hell for 11 months. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I hope that you overcome whatever weird fucking problem you have that makes you hate yourself so much because honestly, it's disgusting to me and I've had enough of it. You've called me a transphobe for 11, for like what? Not 11 months, 10 months because it was in February when this all happened. So maybe if we're charitable, nine and a half months, you've gone around telling everybody on the internet on every platform you can go to that I'm a transphobe and now you come begging for a second conversation when you get exposed for being a fucking liar? for being a cringy uh, a, a a a fucking cringy posturer who just posts fucking fake legal documents with line separations as if that makes what you have to say any more relevant the reality is in truth i was too nice to you in the original conversation you had no fucking clue what you were talking about and what you were doing was coping about what you perceived to be an essential part of gender which good luck search for the rest of your fucking existence for the for the essential portion of gender you'll never Never find it we invented gender we social beings invented gender there is no essential trait you're looking for you can search for fucking ever but guess what you're never gonna get another conversation with me because fuck you because fuck you and everything you stand for you assimilationist piece of fucking shit no one here who's witnessed this segment should ever take you seriously again they shouldn't have taken you seriously to begin with. I shouldn't have taken you seriously to begin with. But you really showed your ass over the last year. But I'm not done. I'm not fucking done. I heard she called me a liar on stream. Oh, the irony. Good one. Fucking good one. Wow. Damn, those five likes. Damn, this post goes hard. Feel free to screen cap. Hey, guys. This, this post goes hard. Feel free to screen cap. And then we have when your parents are divorced, but they both still attend your graduation. This is going to make me cringe. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, let's not forget this. Yeah, Riley, you're probably watching right now. Good. I hope this makes you feel bad because you should. You should be embarrassed about your public behavior. You should be embarrassed about the way you carry yourself online and the people you associate with.
What a sick, what, what a sick, this is literally like Facebook. First of all, it's all pixelated like it's from Facebook. This is the most Facebook boomer thing I've ever seen. Oh yeah, Riley called Destiny one of her best friends. Talk about parasocial. You wanna watch this? Here, let's watch it. Fuck it, we're well, going I think there. I didn't disagree with the past, but she seems like a really reasonable- Riley- What? Why? Why doesn't Riley try to do more on Twitch with, like, politics? I don't understand why this person was allowed to just play fucking EverQuest or whatever the fuck she plays. I feel like she should have a louder voice or whatever. Because she seems like a pretty reasonable person. I think we've disagreed in the past, but she seems like a really reasonable person. I wish that she... Hey, you got that endorsement from your NFT salesman, yo. Does that feel good? It feel good to get that endorsement? Thank you very much, Walter O. She would oh. have, like, a ESO, whatever the fuck. Hey, maybe, maybe Destiny, maybe Destiny will make you, um, maybe he can get you in on that. Maybe you can get signed moments of RGR calling me a transphobe. Does anybody want an NFT, uh, a signed NFT of, of RGR calling me a transphobe? Oh, wait. Oh, I'm so sorry. You can't do that because all the videos are deleted. Ah, no NFTs for you. I wish it, uh, because of all the demon mama shit and everything, fucked her so hard. Um, I wish she would be, yeah. I really like the way that she structures and forms arguments. It just is refreshing to hear. Ugh. Because of the demon mama shit, fuck her so hard. Yeah. Yeah. But I would have weighed in more on the moral part, but but uh, it was it was already pretty spicy, so. Yeah, RGR um, won yeah. this discussion. I'm muted. What? Why? You want to know why it sounds so fake? Because he's defeated. Because NF Steve is a completely flattened individual. Like, he's literally the, the, the squeezed out, drained Wojak. And you can see it every single stream. You guys, we just did this the other day. We watched him sadly admit that he's doing anything for money because his streaming career is basically over. He said that on his own stream, that he's taking any sponsorship that he can before he ditches from streaming and runs. What a loser. But you know, I want to show you something. You know, RGR really, really, really wanted to fucking, uh, uh RGR really wanted to like, um, to like have a, a second debate with me, you know? But I don't think I should. And I'm going to show you part of the reason why. Here we go. This is from Cherry. This is from Chariot's video. Okay, we're gonna watch just a segment of Chariot's video. And previously, I thought this was too mean to play on stream, but we're gonna play it right now. Okay, we're gonna play it right now because uh, I I want to show this. I want to show her reaction after. Um... <laughs> oh my God, she's so mad. She's a fucking. She's so fucking pissed. Oh my god, okay, this is the moment. This is the moment. Everybody, here's your chance. Here you go, everybody. And now we're gonna watch this little clip, cause uh, I think it's very, very interesting. This is this is in the aftermath to our first debate, and this is one of the reasons, one of the many reasons why I will never ever debate RG debate RGR again. Which context gave away all of this effort? When you hand away away all of this effort, because you know if you want the keys to the kingdom if you want the key to getting through literally any fucking argument that you get your way this is it this is it this will get you through anything anything And no one's fucking willing to listen to me. Oh, shut up. God damn. I cannot believe. No, this is all. This was her screaming at her friends who you can see in the chat. If we move my chat real quick. 
I'm just gonna, you know, like, I know, this is, this is a little bit, you know, but let's just remember what we've gone through today, okay? You can see people here saying, Riley, we love you, but sleep is important. Uh, uh, please sleep. I will send you cat pictures. You can be right and still be self-destructing right now. Riley, please go to bed. I'm sorry, but this has been, this is, look, I, I, I didn't play this multiple times when I had the opportunity to, but let's watch it now together. Also very concerning because you, none of this you- This was, this was directly after the argument with me. Actually read what I put out. Do none of you actually read what I put out? Because this tells me this has been up since the beginning of these research docs. No, I don't believe that people are listening to me. If people were, then there wouldn't be an issue. I have said nothing that has not been public knowledge since the day I put this up. Everything that I said, you know how surprising it is? Literally. Literally, I have said nothing that I did not formulate with this community, that I did not come to an understanding of with this community. That I what she is saying here is that everyone disagreeing with her is wrong because you have because we formulated our ideas together and I get to decide what the good ideas are. This is literally an authoritarian fucking meltdown. This is rad norm shit. I, I made these opinions together with you and you disagree with me. How dare you? I did not do for this community. This was literally, yes, John John NYC. This was just before she went scorched earth on her community and started banning everyone. And yet somehow, and yet somehow, Just because someone- LITERALLY THE ENTIRE CHAT! Good night. I read it, Riley. I read them all. I listened to the things you had to say. I- So let's recap. I didn't start this drama. Some random person made a comment, and I responded to it, and RGR quote retweeted me trying to start drama again. She failed. Completely. And utterly. And what she was relying on is the fact that her DGG-fueled Twitter audience will never go and look for the receipts. But see, you all here, all 600 approximately of you who are watching right now, maybe more, maybe 700, all of you have currently been given access to all of the receipts, all of which are still public on my side of things. So if it feels like I'm being a little bit mean here at the end, I assure you, I have had 10 months of holding back on being mean to somebody who has not only called me a transphobe, not only lied about me, not only actively gone and, and made content with people who were actively calling to have me deplatformed, literally called for me to be deplatformed, said that I was bad for trans people, that I was a bad trans leader, called somebody who I very much care about a pedophile with zero evidence flagrantly in a stream that was being watched by DGG for 10, approximately nine and a half, 10 months. I have dealt with this shit. So if you think that I'm being mean, go back and watch this segment because you probably came in late and you probably didn't catch us going through every single receipt. Because I assure you that I have been so measured with this fucking absolute power tripping lawyer brained asshole. And frankly, I've had enough of it. Because, uh, let's be real here. For the last 10 months, no, for the last two years, I've been grinding like fuck to grow this channel. And I've had a lot of trouble with growth. And the reason I've had trouble with growth is because there is an audience of approximately 100,000 plus people gauging on the number of views of the VOD. There is approximately 100,000 people on the internet who go around all the time saying that I'm the biggest liar, the most dishonest person, and they never check the receipts. In fact, the receipts are gone because she deleted them.
because she has something to hide. But remember, everybody, it's Mama who's bad. It's, you should go watch the debate streamers who uh, who uh, scream about the people they hate online instead of the original content I churn out every single day. You guys are here for the drama, but you guys don't even see the fucking banger shit I do every day. You know, my stream isn't just some boring political stream. I go through and we, we find all kinds of things. I do political commentary on media. I'm funny as fuck. And my growth has been stymied because I've had the the tyrants of political twitch these irrelevant has been bloated uh 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 dead weight that are just sitting on top of everyone and i'm not the only one either i'm not the only content creator who's had who's had a giant community led by the nft salesman himself uh go against them it's just that riley was the one who promote promoted them on me and remember all of this to try and maintain an illusion that Riley isn't a gender essentialist when she literally states that there is an intrinsic portion of gender. <laughs> Riley, oh my God, you didn't. You didn't come here. You didn't come here. Don't ban Riley. No, you can't. You can chat, you can chat from chat like everyone else. Absolutely not, Riley. No, I will not. You won't be good. You're an embarrassment. The fact that you're desperately trying to come on here, the fact that you're desperately trying to come on here just proves the entire arc of this, this whole thing is twice as pathetic as I could have believed. I dispute that. You are a liar. You are a liar. That's because you are a liar. You've lied a lot. You're very manipulative. It's interesting. It's interesting that anybody would trust a lawyer to begin with. But yeah. Let me just make sure. Wait, this person, this is the official one. So either somebody compromised that account. It's nobody. Hold on. Let's, let's make sure. Hold on, let's make sure this is the real thing. But that's that that's the account that I gave the badge to. No, I will not watch that clip. You're in my chat right now. Shut the fuck up. No, I won't. We already did this. Riley, you're so this is so embarrassing, Riley. Riley, this is so embarrassing. Stop. Holy fucking shit. Take a breath for a second. This is so embarrassing. Oh, and look, the like it liking is here too, simping as well. Is, is DGG watching this? Hi, Destiny viewers. I'm sure you're going to watch this in the future. I know you already all hate me, but go ahead, watch it. This is wild. I can't even believe it. Riley, this is so bad. Riley, this is going to be all on the, on the VOD, you know. Of course I'll watch a clip of yours, Vosh. Vosh, absolutely. You shoot me a clip, I'll play it. It's literally proof I'm not lying. No, it isn't. We already watched... Riley, 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 no, you don't tell me what to do on my stream ever, never. I'm not watching your stupid clip. We already watched it. We already watched it. You're so stupid. You weren't even paying attention. We already watched it. This is fucking, this is fucking unhinged. We literally already watched it, Riley. Go watch the VOD for fuck's sake. Holy shit. Yes, we did. Yes, we literally did. We watched the original version, not your shitty fucking Twitter edited version. There we go. Here's a clip from Vosh. Let's watch Vosh's clip. Wait, wait, Vosh, Vosh, we watched this on stream. Yes. What a great way to end it. Here we go. Here's, here's a 30 second clip. Vosh, we watched this on stream. It's fucking great. Let's watch it again, because I love it. Let's watch it again. We watched this yesterday, Vosh. We'll watch it again, though, because it's good. 
Riley, please, please, you're embarrassing yourself. This is so embarrassing. Riley, I'm glad you stayed here, Malding in chat, okay? I'm gonna verify one thing real quick, which is that your account hasn't been um, hacked because that is the account that I gave the, the, the title to. That's the account that you came here on when this came. Let's just see. Let's see. Riley Grace Roshong. It's the real one. It's the real one. No, nothing. The clip RGR wants you to watch is literally only 31 seconds. I feel like it won't take much effort just to watch it. Why not do it? Because we already watched the clip. We already watched the segment that she was talking about. This is what we call unbelievable cope. And here's the reason why I won't do it. Because you don't control my stream. I do. You don't control Twitch politics. I do. Every single time I drop a take, you motherfuckers buzz like bees, desperately trying to denounce me, even though my takes are very well informed. And also, might I say, though I am a bit performative in my general life, my arguments are generally very calm. So what you have right now is massive cope. And this doesn't work. You can't intimidate me because you're not intimidating. I am the streamer you wish that you were. Sorry. But that's just true. You even copied my villain bit. Look at you spamming this. This is so pathetic. This is so pathetic. You're such a fucking joke. Oh my god. Guys, like, I, I feel like... This is one of the... This is actually one of the... This is probably... Hold on. Is this the most unhinged? Yes. This is without question the most unhinged behavior I've ever seen from a content creator. You're literally caps locking in my chat, live in 4K, from your actual account. She doesn't even realize that we already watched the segment that she was talking about from the original video. Literally you right now, Riley. Riley, please. Riley, please. Holy fuck. Riley, stop. Holy shit, Riley, stop. What? What the fuck is happening? I already did, Joe Cool. Thank you. Oh my god. Yes, Riley Grace Rushong, and I won't, because you don't control my stream. We already did this. We've already fucking done it. This is so sad. This is one of the saddest things I've ever, I've ever seen.
Why complain about it when you could humiliate you by watching it? You're humiliating yourself right now. You are humiliating yourself in one of the most embarrassing displays I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, guys, the, this is one of those situations where I don't even need to make any argument. It's self-evident. All of you who are watching this video in the future, just check the chat. This is, this is so fucked. Oh, I don't care, Volt Amperage. We already watched, we already watched her, we already caught her in 4K lying. I don't care what stupid bullshit that, uh, that Riley Grace Roshong, the liar, the serial liar, the desperate rad norm who desperately wants to be appreciated for how normal and intelligent and correct she is. Riley, I'm going to tell you something. Ready? No, this is the real RGR. Unless RGR's Google account has been hacked, this is the real RGR. This is where we're at. Of course, Max Phoenix, I don't care. You are literally shitting and farting in this chat, and it is embarrassing. Yeah, actually, we can check this, the logs. Is this the real log? Is this the real one? Let's check. I mean, it's the one I gave. This is the account I gave this to. So let's take a look. How far back can we go? How far back can we go? We got November. Oh, hold on. Yeah. So unless her, unless her account... Uh, unless her account is compromised, this is the real one. Yep. Oh, yeah, we didn't have logs, so... You've literally cultivated the worst audience. Riley, you're in my audience right now, and you're the one shitting up chat. This is fucking wild. Are you posting about it, too? Are you fucking posting about this shit? Oh, my God. Yes! Hold on, guys, guys. It's actually Riley, by the way. I'm literally trying to talk to DM right now and she's running like a fucking coward. I can't believe what I'm seeing. I told you, Mental Ben. I told you I'm the best streamer on this side of the web. No, Riley, you've had your opportunities to talk. You've had 10 months to talk, and all that you've done is shown how much you've shit your own pants in public constantly. No, there is no civil... You are, you are an uncivilized person, Riley. You want to have a civilized chat? You are a brute. You are an authoritarian brute who insists that your interpretation of gender is the only one. So, with all due respect, I don't think you're capable of civilized dialogue. You made a hit piece where you lied. I did not. But that's okay. No, that's fine, Grimpy. I'm, I'm enjoying this. This is incredibly fun. It's actually wild how embarrassing this is. Yeah, so much for speaking softly or carrying a big stick. I think what you meant to say was uh, scream loudly and and carry a large log in your fucking adult diaper for fuck's sake yeah oh yeah hey do we got another one? Oh shit looks like we got another one hey hey what's this there is nothing less valid about dear gender than there is about non-binary gender identities demon mama actually unironically people associated with her are going, are going to try and say this isn't transphobic here's here's literal photo evidence of you calling me transphobic because i made a competent and good argument because guess what dear gender is a non-binary gender you moron you utter idiot you absolute embarrassing charlatan absolute charlatan Thank you, Bubble Goom. I appreciate that. I was almost on the fence tonight, but I don't think I am anymore. Do you want to defend that in VC? Riley, no. What you're doing right now is harassment. I hope you know that. 
What you're doing right now is fucking harassment. I've told you a hundred times, no, I will not be talking to you, you embarrassing chud charlatan. Tell you what, actually, let's take this up a notch. Shall we take it up a notch? Hold on a second. Let's do this real quick. Ready? There you go. Here, we'll put it up to democratic process. Hmm. Yeah, get your stream up. Riley, get your stream up real quick. We're going to take it up a notch. Get your stream up. Okay, Riley, go get your stream up and tell me when you're ready, okay? Tell me when you're ready. Get your stream up and tell me when you're ready, okay? Go ahead, get your stream up. Tell me when your stream's up. Have some faith, everybody. Have some faith, everyone. Have faith in your demon mama. For the last 10 months, I've delivered you delicious content. I've been right over and over again, and I always bring the receipts. It's actually amazing. Okay? Just tell me when your stream's up. Go ahead, get your stream up. No, go ahead. Get your stream up. We don't need a moderator. It's okay. Go ahead, get your stream up, Riley Grace Rochon. Thank you, Lily Deathbloom, with my dope-ass shirt. Yeah, this is my prismatic shirt. I like to wear this when I'm going to destroy people with facts and logic and receipts. <clears throat> we'll just wait. We'll just wait. Be patient, everyone. Stick around. Be patient. While you're here, you have the time while we're waiting. It's okay. While we have the time, uh, while we're waiting for Riley to get her stream up, go ahead, get her stream up. Let her get her stream up. You all go and like the stream and subscribe and ring the bell. I'm just saying this is possibly the greatest expose you've ever seen on this side of the fucking internet. Just ping, just ping me when it's up. We'll wait. We can we can wait. It's all good. It's all good. So she's live? Okay, hold on. Let me, let's get this set up. Let's get this set up. Hold on. Hold on, let me get this up. Hold on, let's see. We got, oh, uh, we got RGR. Here we go. Oh, RGR's live. Demon Mama rematch. Let's go. Let's wait for the ad. Gotta do the ad. Yeah. We're gonna move chat for just a second. Damn, some Damn, tequila would be great right now, huh? Right here we go, everybody. So here we go. Ready, guys? Here we go. Oh, well, you just identify as a Seahawk. That makes. Okay, here we go. So this is super easy. Ready? You guys see? You can see Riley down there in the corner. You can hear me. You can see me. Okay. Riley, what you're doing is embarrassed. Is is embarrassing? Sorry. <clears throat> is embarrassing and cringe. Oh, here. Sorry, you moved your camera. Let me just adjust real quick. You just adjust. There you go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Put your camera back up. Go ahead. Put your camera up. Go ahead. Wave. Wave. You're famous. You're on TV. Mama's giving you a crumb of clout. Say thank you, Mama. Say thank you, Mama, for the clout. Okay? I'm going to give you a single offer for this rematch. Okay? I'm going to give you a very competitive rate. The same, a, a, a rate that is actually better 
than what I offered other people of similar caliber. You may have heard of a, a, a streamer named Infrared who did the same thing, had his fans come into chat and uh, heckle me and shout and type in all caps. So right now, for the low, low price adjusted with inflation of $300, you can debate Demon Mama. You can have your chance. All I need is a big dono right through my website. You can go to my website, demonmama.com forward slash donate. $300. If you use the coupon code 8D5D2D Derek, then you will get a discount of $5 and it will be only $295. If you need a payment plan, we can work something out. You can start by being a tier three sub or a tier four sub on my website. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you just do, it's really easy. You can subscribe for four months. You can pay it month by month. Just commit to six months and you will get the debate opportunity you crave so badly. Isn't that wonderful? It's super easy, super fun. Yeah, so simple. There's your offer. I gave you a better deal than I've given anybody else on debating me. There you go. Simple donation of 295 if you use the coupon code 85D2D Derek, $300 without the coupon code. Super generous. As you can see, I'm incredibly, incredibly generous with my streaming. Um, and yeah, so there. Uh, now we'll see if you actually care about what you're saying. Because surely for a lawyer like yourself, um, you know, for a lawyer like yourself, it must not be too hard to afford $300. So if you're super serious about what you believe in, I'm pretty sure you could cough up those $300. And you know, I got, I got Christmas to plan. So you want to help me out? I help you out. I give you the clout you want. You charge me, you, uh, I charge you 300 bucks. You get the clout. I get the money. I have a nice Christmas. You get your rematch that you want so bad. How's that sound? Sound good? There you go. There's your offer. I'll wait. Um, I have a whole bunch of other content that I already have planned that's super fun for everybody. We're going to watch a Gamergate video, and then we're going to react to some uh, church militant stuff. So if you guys like seeing unhinged conspiracy Christians, stick around, because that's what we're going to be doing afterwards. Um, yeah, uh, I think that was a, I think that's a fair deal. Guys, don't you think that was a good deal? I think that's a fair deal, personally. I think it's a really fair deal. Now? Oh, you're back. Oh, you're back molding again. You're typing on stream. Wait, guys, we can literally watch. We can watch RGR typing on stream. Literally molding. We can watch her typing and molding in my chat on stream. You're right. This is sad, Riley. This is one of the saddest things I've ever witnessed in my entire time. I told you guys it was going to be a drama bomb today. Am I wrong? Shall we listen in? Do you want to listen in and hear what's being said? Here. Talk to her! Oh my god! How much of You're a right. giant sad, fucking Riley. coward do this you have to be to make me pay $300? <laughs> I told you guys it was going to be a drama bomb today. Am I wrong? Shall we listen in? Do you oh want to listen my in and god! Hear what's being said? Molding Talk is really her. transphobic. Oh my god! How much of You're a right. giant sad, fucking Riley. coward do this you have to be to make me pay $300? Wait, hold on. She's listening now. All right, hold on. Let's play the clip. Let's play the clip. Shall we listen in? Do you oh want what I say? Whoops. That didn't work. You tried, though. Did you think that was going to work? Did you actually think that was going to work? Do you guys want to watch the clip again? Here, let's watch it again. Should we watch my clip again? I think we should watch my clip again. Or rather, I should say, I think we should watch Chariot's clip again. Because, like, honestly, this has been pretty funny. But I think that it's funnier to watch Chariot's clip again. So let's watch that again together, shall we? Here we go. I'm going to have another cigarette. Here we go. This effort. Because, you know, if you want the keys to the kingdom, if you want the key to getting through literally any fucking argument you, that you get Lapras. your way, this is it. This is it. This will get you through anything. Anything. And no one's fucking willing to listen to me. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Goddamn. 
I cannot believe. No, this is also very concerning because do none of you actually read what I put out? Do none of you actually read what I put out? Because this tells me, this has been up since the beginning of these research docs. No, I don't believe that people are listening to me. If people were, then there wouldn't be an issue. I have said nothing that has not been public knowledge since the day I put this up. Everything that I said, you know how surprising it is? Literally, literally, I have said nothing that I did not formulate with this community, that I did not come to an understanding of with this community, that I did not do for this community. And yet somehow, and yet somehow, just because someone, literally the entire chat, Screaming, remember, this is not not screaming at me, screaming at her own friends that have the friend tag in her Discord, screaming at them, like saying that they're stupid for not agreeing with her. Absolutely incredible. Just wonderful shit. Just, oh my god, it's just beautiful, you know? I don't know. There could have been peace. There could have been peace between us, but you know, I get it. I'm the degenerate, disgusting, bad for trans people, trans person, you know? And you are the good Christian lawyer, all nice. You're the rad norm. You got your normal state. Do you feel normal right now? Do you feel normal right now, Riley? Because let me tell you right now, a lot of people are watching you behave very, very abnormally, very unhinged, very unbased and very cringe. Yeah, kink in public is bad. How come you're coming into my stream and demanded and demanding to be publicly humiliated? Not even that. Oh. I've literally told you no. You literally won't take no for an answer. You clearly don't even understand the basics of consent. You won't take no. You're not paying my fee, which means maybe you're not actually a lawyer. Maybe this is all made up. Maybe you made that all up. I don't know. Isn't that weird? Maybe you just made that up. Maybe you don't got that lawyer money. I'm just too based. I'm too base for you to put your money where your mouth is. Don't you want to live your values? Oh, oh, are you trying to get me to submit to the mob? Is that what you're trying to do? Is that what you're trying to I thought you didn't believe in that. I thought you didn't believe in that shit. By, by, by the, uh, by the way, <clears throat> by the way, real quick, what you have just witnessed is called competence. What you have witnessed here is called being a good streamer. You see, I know how to stream. I know how to talk. I know how to be honest. I know how to keep receipts. I know how to research things. I don't have to delete everything and hide everything like you do. This is what competence looks like. This is what power looks like. You see, while you posture on Twitter for your embarrassing army of DGG uh, falloffs, I'm here actually talking about something substantive. I'm here showing the fucking receipts. What you have is posturing. What you have is an illusion. What I have is respect. Because people respect me. They don't respect you and your embarrass, embarrassing bullshit. And now you see, now you see, okay? Now you all understand exactly why I did this response. Do you see? Yeah. Do you see why? Do you see why I do this shit? Oh yeah, here we go. Here's that clip. Let's do this. You all were here. You all got to witness this live. This is the shit you get to see. You guys get to see this shit live here let's watch this this is from you other videos here, just here we go hold on let's go let's go here someone else this is yeah this is gonna sound uh i'm gonna listen closely because your fucking community hates me anyway um and this might sound transphobic it sometimes when i listen to her talk i can't tell if she's honestly engaging with your question or if she genuinely hasn't thought about these concepts before. Now, this might just be me as a cis person. I would imagine that anybody that's like going through hormone therapy um, to transition, I would imagine has spent like a great deal of time reflecting on who they feel they are inside. So when you ask questions about like, do you think huh. you were lying to yourself when you were like internally felt like a man or a woman or whatever, it's really surprising to me to hear that there might be a trans person that talks about this advocacy is, you know, trying to do hormone therapy that hasn't ever engaged with that question before. That seems like a pretty internal or that seems like a pretty important yeah. question of identity that yeah that's oh yeah 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 did you hear her just there do we need to play it back should i play it back again here we go let's play it back again let's listen that again before. that seems like a pretty internal or that seems like a pretty important yeah. question of identity that yeah that's really strange to me no and that's essentially the way that i see it i mean 
That's essentially the way that I see it. So all of that bluster, all of that screaming and lying in chat, and there's the clip of her. Not only, it was actually worse than what I originally claimed. She goes, yeah, yeah, that's essentially how I see it. So there you have it, from the horse's mouth. From the motherfucking horse's mouth. So to conclude this, what was wrong with that clip? Oh, the part where Destiny said, I would think that a trans person would have thought about gender more before making statements like this. And then she goes, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, we have the entire VOD. We knew she was going to start doing the gaslighting thing. And it's funny. This is gaslighting, by the way. This is gaslighting. You notice how in order to be able to contest this at all, I had to go through and do a giant investigation stream. You guys, you guys know? Have you noticed that? That's what, this is gaslighting. We have to sit here. RGR has made specific claims against me and has denied to all of our faces what we have just watched live in 4K. So with all due respect, once again, let me just say it one more time because I think I deserve it at this point. Fuck RGR. You are a liar. You are a, a Weasley charlatan snake. You are clearly and openly a gender essentialist. Now, how far you take that, I don't really give a shit anymore, honestly. You've called me a transphobe over and over again for months upon months upon months. You initiated this particular phase of drama, and you delete everything to hide it. And I'm sure you're going to do it again. I'm sure after this, you'll, you know, hide your fucking VODs, and you'll say that none of this ever happened. You'll say that your account was hacked, even though we verified that it was you, even though you tweeted concurrently and all of it was caught in 4K. That's what we call actual unironic gaslighting. When you have to go to the level of finding all these receipts, you're dealing with a dishonest person. A truly dishonest person. And not only that, but guess what? Your arguments suck too. Your little C++ gender calculator is bullshit. Made up. You're doing the soy face going... Straight up. Straight the fuck up. I'm going to be mean one more time, okay? Because I like it. Here we go. Three streams in the last month. 11 viewers. 52 viewers. 56 viewers. And then the one that she did just now. It's a panel maybe? Three streams, yeah. Average viewers of 37. Who do you think is here? Who, who do you think is here trying to get clout, huh? Who do you think is here trying to get clout? You know, we know the answer. We know the answer. It's obvious as can be. The only person who doesn't see it is Riley. That was fun, wasn't it? Wasn't that fun?